Around 7 a.m. on July 9th, 1993, in Surrey, British Columbia, Ruth Kerr headed to work, leaving her daughter Sharon home alone for only the third or fourth time. It was an unusual situation, but she was 13, so she felt she could be on her own at home okay. Around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Sharon Kerr was home alone, and she'd heard somebody knocking at the door. When she went to the door, she saw a guy and a girl that she didn't recognize. RCMP communications operator Jackie Spoor was handling the call. Her little voice was just reaching out for someone, and there's no time for anything except to reach back into that phone and tell you're there. Okay, where are they now? They're in the One of my children crying out for help. What else did you hear, Sharon? They're taking the computer. Nice and quiet, okay? Not a girl. Don't get scared, okay? We're on our way. Now, Sharon, if they get close to you or anything, you run like anything for the door, okay? You promise me that? If they saw her and went for her, I didn't know if she could actually run and get away. I didn't know if Sharon was going to be badly hurt or even killed. Don't worry about it right now. If, you, if they see you, you just run for that door, okay? Is it one man? Two? They can't. Something was changing in the room. The dog was all of a sudden barking a lot. Okay, just go ignore your dog, Sharon. Sharon? 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 In my mind, she was frozen. She was in shock. I was very, very worried. Where are they? In the front of the house? They're where? They're in the room? Okay, don't say anything then. Okay? Nice and calm, girl. Nice and calm. I was shocked they were in the room with her. I've heard people being beat on the phone. I know what that sounds like and what feels like inside. And I didn't need this happening to that little girl. Royal Canadian Mounted Police Constable Mike Lavity was among those responding to the call. We're within a couple of minutes, but what if they find the little girl hiding at this point in time? Do we have a hostage situation? Why do you think they saw you? Do they know you're on the phone? Do you see any weapons? Okay, stay calm. I'm very torn. I need to know what our officers are up against when they reach the scene. But 
The problem with asking questions is she is going to answer the questions and possibly give herself away. Okay, stay calm. Don't move. The calm you are, they're just going to think that you're not going to hurt them or get them in trouble. Uh, don't let the dog get you upset. Are you there, Sharon? Sharon? Okay. Don't let him get you upset. The calm you say the dog will calm down, too. We're almost there, okay? I observed one of the culprits walking towards our vehicle. The vehicle was full of stolen property. Her associate was at the door, and as soon as he saw us, he went running back through the residence. I saw the same fella trying to act nonchalant, an apparent attempt to make it look as if he had nothing to do with what had just transpired. I recognized him as a fella I dealt with before on similar occurrences. I've known the female suspect for some time, and she has a reputation for violent tendencies. On the street, she was known as War Bitch. Sharon's father, Len Kerr, rushed home from work as soon as he was notified. When you see so many police cars and RCMP officers, you would think the worst. Sharon was just coming down the stairs, and when she saw me, she ran down, and we, I hugged her and just held her for, for a long time. Sharon? Sharon's mother, Ruth, arrived soon after. Sharon was white as a sheet, very shocked. She just kept saying to me, should I have answered the door, Mom? And I said, no. You know, you did the right thing. The two suspects subsequently pleaded guilty to breaking and entering and theft and were sentenced to prison. Two years have passed. I was really scared. I didn't know if I was going to see my parents again. It was really amazing that they didn't see me because they were so close. I think Jackie would save my life. If she wasn't there, they might have seen me because I probably would have panicked. Good, you changed a lot. She was with my daughter when I couldn't have been there. I love her. Jackie did a great job. Oh, there's Courtney. Hello, Courtney. Courtney the dog also helped save Sharon's life. I couldn't get under the bed because it's a water bed. So I just lay beside it and hid the phone. The dog camouflaged Sharon. There was a barky, yappy dog. So that was their focus, and they'd forgotten there could be people around. Yeah. The dog is a nervous wreck. <laughs> if anybody rattles the uh, letterbox or rings the doorbell, the dog really just about has a heart attack. Sharon did attend. She saved her life in many ways, picking up the phone and calling 911, reaching out with her voice, stopping and listening to me. She did a wonderful, wonderful job. Next. There really is something magical to me every time I take a baby out. I mean, that baby might be another Mozart. Maybe she'll grow up to be president. 